Hi everyone, this is Elahe, your professor. It was very great seeing your introductions. Thanks to all of you who completed that assignment. And if you have not done it, uh, um, you still have time to do it. It's great for us to establish uh, a community. Uh, we're going to work together for six weeks. So it's great uh, to put face on the names. Uh, uh, I want to remind you that the first three weeks of the semester is analysis phase. Um, when you focus on understanding requirements, modeling those requirements, understanding the steps, what we call process modeling, and understanding the data that needs to be stored in the system. So basically, you're trying to understand the business problem. And then in design phase, you're going to design a solution for that problem. Um, in the form of an information system. So, um, requirements modeling, process modeling, and data or domain modeling are the three major activities that you will um, perform during analysis. Mendix will help you create an easy prototype without worrying about coding, but if it's your first time working with low-code app development platform, there would be a learning curve I will post uh, some links to uh, Mendix tutorials and Mendix uh, what they call learning modules that could help you in addition to the resources that I have put uh, on your lab. So what happens is uh, you're going to do some requirements, you're going to do some process modeling using Microflows, you're going to create your domain models on Mendix um, and create a, a prototype by the end of uh, the first learning period and then you have to reflect on it that's your report one uh, it's a short report but it helps you sit back look at what you've done and try to give me a higher level understanding of what um, you think you have achieved uh, one reminder is that every one of you would uh, be required to meet me at least three times on zoom i asked you to test the zoom connection i wasn't there on monday or tuesday but i will post times uh, during which you can meet with me this could be a five minute meeting if you are really one of those students who don't like um one-on-one -on -one interactions and i've had those students in the past i wouldn't be surprised um, we could just meet for five minutes. It could be only audio. We could talk and I ask you a few questions to make sure you understand what we're trying to accomplish. Um, or if you're one of those students who enjoy one-on-one -on -one attention and one-on-one -on -one communication, I could stay as long as two hours. And we could draw domain models. We could draw activity diagrams. We could um, look at your screen, what you're doing on Mendix, I could debug your program. So there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a continuum where you want to be, it's up to you, but I would need to touch base with you at least once each uh, two weeks. Um, and then you will be able to choose the time and the day. I will post them by the end of tonight. So now that you know my expectations, you know the syllabus, start working on your Mendix um, lab exercises. Make sure you find me on Zoom. Or uh, if you wanted to meet me face to face, if you're in town, um, I could be flexible. I could meet you after your work hours or before your work hours or during weekends. This is something you've done in the past and it works uh, great for some of you. So I would want to put that offer on the table. Um, that's what I wanted to say uh, today on Wednesday. Uh, keep on working on the topics um, and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up later. Thank you.